hello guys and welcome back um germinating peppers can often be an uphill task um you can wait sometimes even up to three four weeks to get these guys to pop out yeah from the from the soil that you put them in but it shouldn't be it shouldn't be if you know the right technique yeah if you know the right technique to get these guys to pop out then it shouldn't be an uphill task so you can pop these guys out in two three days yes and that's what we're going to be doing in today's video uh getting this uh peppers to sprout in two three days using just a ziploc bag a ziploc bag and um, the pepper seeds and um kitchen towel or paper towel and water yeah just those just those items you need to get these guys to sprout and did you know that you don't really have to buy pepper seeds you can get these guys to sprout from the peppers that you buy from the shops yes i said it quote me yes <laughs> but there's a catch yeah there is definitely a catch and i'll let you know what the catch is at the end of the video so come on let's do this So here I've got my scotch bonnet um, seeds. Um, I bought them from the shop the other. I bought this from the shop the other day, and I planted some. And so and they've sprouted already. I'm going to actually transplant those today. But I wanted to actually show you how I use the um, ziploc bag method. Yeah, I use the ziploc bag and paper towel method. Um, so to be able to do this, of course, you would need some scotch bonnet peppers you don't need to get the seeds you just need to buy the pepper from the shop and make sure it's the red one it's got to be ripe and ready you can go straight from the shop to sprouting it or you can leave it to dry out a little bit like this one now it's been standing on the window in my kitchen for some time and it's dried out a little bit um so i'm gonna show you how i package that together okay to help it to sprout yeah all you need at this stage is the pepper, the Ziploc bag and the paper towel and you might need some water to, to put it in. So you're going to fold that paper towel in such a way that it can fit inside of the bag. Yeah, inside of your Ziploc bag. I got these cute ones from Ikea. Um, yeah, so... Okay, once you put it in the bag, you need to um, put some water inside of it, yeah. So, I'm going to add a little bit of water in there, yeah. Not tons of water, just a little bit of water to soak the paper towel. Yeah, that's going to soak that paper towel. I'm going to put a bit more in. Yeah, that's okay now. And then I'm going to put that down and I'm going to get those pepper seeds. Um, I'm just going to scrape some of them out of the, of the plants. Okay. Now scotch bonnet is very hot, so be careful when you do this. Okay. You can use hand gloves. I grew up um, holding them with my hands, so I've kind of developed them. Um, I can cope with them yeah <laughs> okay so I've got some nice ones now and now I can just pick those ones up and throw them in pick them up and throw them in pick them up and throw them in the bag Yep, and once you put them all in, um, then you can lock that bag up, seal it up. Yeah, you can just lock it up and take it into a dark place. I usually put it inside of my um, my drawer, my bedside drawer 
or the, the drawer in my uh, in my home office you put it inside the drawer and then you let it sit there and in a couple of days you will get some sprouted peppers yeah now here are some that i sprouted last week um it's not even up to a week i don't think it's about six days because today is the 29th uh of march and i planted i put them in on the 23rd of march and you may wonder why you have to use this method peppers are very like they take a long time to sprout so um this method can ensure that you get the healthy ones and put them in the pots yeah and encourage them to grow quickly um rather than just train them in blindly and waiting for them forever so here they sprouted so maybe we can you can watch me um do it i don't know if you can see them but i'll try and see if i can zoom into that for you guys <sighs> so yeah you, there we are you can see that one there you can see you can see how many of them have sprouted like you can see lots of them have sprouted so we have to throw them into the containers now into this little pots that i've made for them and then take them to the windowsill and get them to get some heating and light so that they can germinate let's do that make sure that you use a well-drained container yeah I'm just going to get that out now gently there we are and I'm gonna do the first one in front of you and then I'll do the rest of them and show you we will we'll come back in a couple of days and see how they're doing yeah make sure you use a well-drained container i've already drilled hole in this one i hope you can see that one yeah so they have uh containers in the shops but i just prefer to use these ones because i can see what's happening with them now you don't need a huge root to do um, a huge hole for this now yeah you just need a little hole because it's already sprouted and look at what i'm using to pick up that pepper I'm just going to pick that up gently and drop it in there. Yeah. And then I'm going to cover it. I'm not pressing down anything here. I'm not pushing down anything. I'm just going to cover it. And then I'm going to water it. So there we are. That's the first one done. This may seem time consuming or but in the end believe me it pays off better <laughs> yeah so i'm just gonna open this one look at this now oh the compost this year is ridiculous ridiculously bad i think last year everybody was home and this year they just like throwing out anything in the shops for us to buy oh anyways we have to keep it going I'm going to pick up that one. That's a little bit too much. And I'm going to drop it in. And then I'm going to cover it. Mm -hmm. It's already sprouted. So you don't need. And now it's going to go into sunlight. Another one up. Can you see me using my magnifying glass? <laughs> I'm going to pick up this one and drop it in. Then I'm just going to cover that up and then water it. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Go on. Oh, you're not gonna drop off. Oh my goodness. Go in there, you. <laughs> there we are. It's in. Okay. Okay, so you see what I'm using? I'm using my um, tweezers. Okay, so that's the kind of thing that you want to use. Something that you can use to pick it up. And put them on water. Mm. I look for two nice ones and I don't need all of them. Let's see. I think that one is that one has come up a little bit so. I'm just gonna drop that one <clears throat> and then I'm going to cover it up oh my goodness oh my goodness look at the chunks of things we have in our compost this year it's crazy COVID-19 has literally created a big disaster for goodness okay that's another one done i'm going to look for another healthy one there we are that's gonna go in okay and don't forget to label this now okay i think i'm done for now <laughs> i'll put those back in and allow them to sit back and maybe if i have some pots tomorrow i may do some for friends I may put some in for friends. I'll put it back under my cupboard. Right. There we are. Hmm. So here they are. <laughs> One week after. These are the ones I put. I split them up. I put some of them on the windowsill. I put these ones that I that i sprouted and put in the in the video on the windowsill but then i had some more seeds which i put outside to cope with the um with the wintry weather outside in my mini greenhouse and i'm going to share a video of those ones and show you that they haven't there has been <laughs> no progress made since the day i put them outside but this one, these ones in here in the house on the windowsill have um, taken off and you can see that they have, they got, they all got the two, the first two leaves and um, in a couple of um, weeks now, they will be fine. They'll be doing just fine. So these are the ones I planted in January. You can see how they look so healthy. Yeah. And they're ready for the sunlight. They're ready for the for the warm weather so we're just waiting to go out now yeah so that's what they these are that's how grown they are you can see that one is doing so well like look at that one look at that one so they're doing so well yeah we're just waiting for a bit of um uh warm temperature to peak for the temperature we're waiting now for the temperature to pick up and then we can take them outside and put them either in the soil or bigger containers transplant them into bigger containers where they will stay for the rest of the year thank you so much guys for joining me in another lovely video with the with the plants um this was how i was brought up my mother never spent a fortune buying foods there was always a fruit or a vegetable or something growing somewhere around the corner that we made food from and um i'm very proud to um 
take on that heritage. It's my heritage and I'm very proud of it. And I'm so glad that you're joining me um, in being proud of your heritage. Thank you for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Bye.